guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is Wednesday, March 10th. So I'm going to be showing you guys the makeup look that I'm going to do today. Um, my only disclaimer is I have absolutely not a clue what I'm doing when it comes to my makeup. So feel free to continue watching, but don't expect to come away with some brilliant makeup tips or anything because um, that's totally not happening. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of have fun <laughs> doing it and look a little bit healthier at the end. And that's kind of my goal. So self-care, um, de-stress and have fun. So and if I could look healthy, then we go for it. So I like to recently start with a little bit of serum and I don't know if there's truth in this and I have not been doing this long enough to like put my own opinion in it yet, but I am told and I hear that this little tool is called a jade roller. It is supposed to help with moon face. Again, I'm not really sure if it's true. I feel like honestly it is one of those things that sounds way too good to be true guys but it was also a ten dollar investment from Walmart and I was like it's totally worth the ten bucks to find out if this thing works it would be nice at the end of the day if it works just a teeny tiny bit what bothers me the most with my moon face right now is this funny thing though is when I was jade rolling for the first time I kind of pinched the fat there because it was really painful when I was doing it. And I was like, huh, I don't feel like it should be quite that painful if I'm honest. So, so I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys the little makeup routine that I'm going to be utilizing today. Um, it doesn't come from anything special. I have absolutely positively not a clue what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. I just kind of play around with it, go with the flow and have fun. At the end of the day, I'm just doing it to de-stress, have fun, and if I can look a little bit healthier, then I'm thrilled. Um, so yeah, nothing super fancy like I said. So we're just going to hop right into it. The first thing that I've been starting out with is the serum, which I got this on Vitacost. It's called Albury, and it's just calming serum, calming skin therapy serum, and it's for sensitive skin. I just put teeny tiny drop and then rub it into my face. I did already put a tiny bit on earlier, so that's why I'm not going to like slab it on. I don't feel like I need a ton, um, but it's really good, especially like with all the medications and stuff to use really good moisturizer in general because it dries out your skin something awful. Like being sick changes your skin so much. And then on top of that, all the treatments and the medications, they just don't do us any justice when it comes to skincare. Um, and I feel like if you're a chronic illness warrior, you totally already know that. So this nifty thing is called a jade roller. I don't necessarily have my own opinion on it yet. I just purchased it mm, like about a week ago or my mom did for me. Um, she got it from Walmart. Super inexpensive investment. The rumor I heard is this little tool is supposed to help to reduce like swelling, moon phase, puffiness, all of that good stuff. So for 10 bucks, I was like, well, we can't go wrong. Obviously, I want to give it a go. You know what I mean? Like, it's a reasonable price to check this out. So I was jade rolling for the first time, and I decided to pinch this. Down here really bothers me, the way that that looks. Um, I, I really struggle with that. But I decided to pinch it. Funny story. Something's in there. I don't know what is there, but I'm able to move it around like you would move around a cyst, which is quite concerning to me at this point. Obviously, we all can agree something is quite wrong with my body. Obviously, I don't know all of the details. Nobody does yet, but we need to figure out kind of what in the world is going on. So I was originally like, rolling like a ton over there then I was like I probably should not be doing it like that much and that hard or anything 
as I don't know obviously what is in there and I don't want to make anything worse. I don't want if it's like a cyst or a growth, I don't want to pop it and then end up with some issues from, you know, popping it. So I usually just do this. I don't even know honestly how long. I'm not like always perfectly following any pattern or like routine for that because I can't tolerate a ton of it. But I just do what I tolerate. As long as it feels good, we're good. If it starts to hurt, I just stop. I am, as you all know, like super sensitive with everything. So I also have this nifty eye cream, which I've had for a really long time. This is the nighttime one. I don't know where I put the daytime one, but I don't really feel it makes a difference because it's just eye cream. I'm sure there's a reason that they want you to put this one on a certain time of day and the other one on a different time, but I'm not sure where I put the other one right now. And I feel like eye cream is always a good thing because obviously my eyes are usually puffy because I don't sleep super well. And hormones, 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 hormones are the reason for everything, guys. It's crazy. And then I just try to rub it all in. This is like a black tea cream. Um, I haven't used a ton of eye cream, so I don't really know much. And then this is just e.l.f. primer. But this primer is pretty cool. It has CBD oil in it. So that's kind of what I do is I just dab it all over my face. And then I do take a little bit and put it over the eyelid. Just a tiny bit though, I really try not to go crazy. And then just rub this all in. Like I said, the goal is just to look a little bit healthier and to feel better when you look at yourself in the mirror. Just like, that you don't feel like you hate yourself, you know? Um, that you feel like you tolerate the way you look. Um, and I've just, like I said, been struggling a lot with it. And I'm finding that, yeah, doing my makeup does help recently, which, whatever. I mean, it's, it's a good thing that something is helping. So this is the foundation I use, and this is by Bare Minerals. I actually felt like the darker foundation, I'm not really sure if it matches better or if it's kind of just what I'm preferring because I was so dark and now I'm so not dark. Um, so I don't know if it's like just because I feel like I look more like me with it or if it truly does match better. I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And it's obviously kind of hard to like to do my makeup because I am so blind. So it's hard to kind of like see how things look and how I'm doing and all of that good stuff. And then next I've been using some concealer. And the concealer I mainly just use under my eyes. This one's from Amazon. It's called Don't Settle by Kaja, K-A-J-A. -A. I'll put this in the description. I'll try to remember to like link the majority of the products if I can find them. Some of them I've had for a while. So I'm not certain if the sites still like have them up because sometimes obviously when I use stuff then they discontinue it and that's really annoying. Especially with mast cell, it gets annoying. Like it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have mast cell. I don't think I would care. But having mast cell and being so reactive and then knowing that you need to like go and find another product, it's so frustrating. I actually need to get on that and start looking around for a new face wash. I just, I've been procrastinating. I don't want to have to do it. Because it's so hard like to choose a formula because I don't know everything that I react to. You know what I mean? Some things like we know, okay, it's this ingredient, it's that ingredient. Other things I'm just allergic to, and it's like, who knows which ingredient in that list that I'm reacting to. Anybody, you know, anybody's guess is as good as another, unfortunately. So, yeah, and then I think today we're going to use some highlighter again. This is my liquid one. This is called Liquid Glow Highlighter, 
and it's by Sauce Lady. I don't know much about like the company or much about highlighter in general, but I do know I really like this. <laughs> so I've been just kind of putting it like, I guess like the top of the cheek. And then sometimes I've been using bronzer too. The only thing is though is like I get so itchy all of the time. And so it's like I really like to do my makeup and look nice but it can be hard because everything gets so stinking itchy. So honestly I'm doing it now. It's probably not staying on that long today. Because I don't feel great but like I said I just wanted to look healthy-er for a little bit. Um, and then I think we're just going to do like some mascara today. And I think that's about it. Oh, and lip stuff. And then we'll call that a look. <laughs> I know it's totally like nothing fancy or like groundbreaking, but I was like, hey, we'll share. Why not? So this is just Burt's Bee. And I like using mascara because I feel like it helps to bring attention to my eyes and that's where I want people's attention at are my eyes because you know fat face and you know moon face guys is hard it's like it's very emotional obviously and I also just got a nice dab of that on my nose that's lovely 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 Alrighty, so grab a tissue uh, There we go. No harm done. But yeah, I try to like, I guess, go for a more dramatic eye. Um, anything, like I was saying, to get people's attention away from my super fat face. Although I know that's like the first thing, unfortunately, everybody sees is the fat face because people comment. They'll be like, your face is so fat, why? And like, I understand people are curious, but it is really hard. Cause you gotta figure, like I go through that all of the time when I was out in public. People always stop me and ask me about my fat face. Or why are you in the wheelchair? Why don't you walk? And so, so many things. People are so nosy. And people too can be so mean and rude with it. All right, so I think we're gonna go with this lip gloss today. And it's by NYX Liquid. I'm not really sure what the color is called. It's a cream stick. Like I said, I don't know what I'm really doing. Not a clue. And I like to like take down my hair and kind of do it for a little bit if if I like tolerate it being down for a little bit I'm probably just going to grab a headband so yeah I have a couple I think I'm gonna go with this one because I have like patterned pants on so they're polka dots so I feel like more of a low-key type headband is probably a good idea. I think let's try to keep out a little piece. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, so. Alrighty, so that is the look we're going with today. So let me know what y'all thought of this video. Would you like to see other makeup type videos in the future or like I guess beauty videos or like any other like video suggestions that y'all have I'm always open to them I love hearing your suggestions I love just hearing your input and your feedback in general all right so I think next we are going to Oh, let's see what time it is. Well, first I'm going to make a cup of tea and then maybe do a little bit of editing. And 
maybe do some planner pages because I need to do some planner stuff too. Alright guys, so we're finding joy in the journey. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.